Hey everybody, this is your Ranting Gamer here. Um, posting another video immediately after the response to the other Ranting Gamers post on Nintendo has no games. Um, I can't say much about G4 TV because I never watched it, and I only hear is Code Monkeys is on there and some retarded shows I don't even know. But I got the channel, but I don't watch it, and it's not about this. This is about Halo 3 versus Call of Duty 4. See, I happen to have both games and an Xbox Live and account, so I can compare the two. Personally, as a Halo fan, I find that Call of Duty has a more realistic view. But what I don't like about Call of Duty is, you can't jump for crap. I mean, seriously. What kind of person jumps two inches off the ground? I'm not even sure if that's two inches, but what kind of person can't even jump like... I don't know. I, I, I don't know is, in real life, uh, me, a guy who doesn't go outside much, I could jump higher than any of those guys inside that game. I mean, oh my god. How does one hop over things like that? See, in Halo 3, yeah, it defies the laws of gravity. You fly like... <laughs> is it back yet? But... See, I'm used to stuff like that. And I switch over to Call of Duty 4, try it out, you know. And all I'm doing is like this. I'm like, what the hell is this? What the hell? There's nobody up there jumping high. This ain't nothing like Halo 3. Whoa, I must tell you. That's a big change in view. Personally, they're both really good games. I give them their props. I give... The creators of the games, their props. See, Halo 3 managed to make it to number 3. Call of Duty 4 managed to make it to Call of Duty 4. That's telling you something. They're making good money and they're continuing to put out the games. It's a shame that Bungie left Microsoft and there will be no more Halo games despite Halo Wars, which is a strategy-based game, sort of like... Uh, what's that game? I forgot what it's called. Member joined. Starcraft. Starcraft. That's what it's called. Starcraft. Blizzard's Starcraft. It's sort of based like that. Or Civilization. Like that. It's sort of based like that. But anyway, moving along. Um, yeah. Um, see, I'm noticing in Halo 3, obvious. Aliens, Covenant stuff. Defying the laws of gravity because we're probably in some different planet where the gravity is all different and such and blah 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 nerd stock blah blah blah. It's it's what makes the Halo war war world possible. Member joined. No, excuse me, I'm on it. I'm on Teamspeak, Xfire, Ventrilo, all at the same time. Anyway, let's see. This is Halo. This is Call of Duty Four. Mm. Can't even make it past the freaking camera. See, as I guys, as I told you guys before, I never went straight to Halo Two. I just skipped it. See, I'm comparing Halo Two, Halo Three, and Call of Duty Four. Halo Two is different to Halo Three because the multiplayer apparently is a bit better in Halo 2 than it is to Halo 3, because Halo 3, it's too easy to kill by meleeing, and Halo 3 doesn't have dual, wheel, uh, dual wielding um, freaking needlers, I mean, how could they take that away from us, I mean, they gave us a taste of it in Halo 2, and they get rid of it in, in Halo 3. Uh, I like the part where the bodies move when you teabag them, though. And Call of Duty 4, on the other hand, Sure, the weapons are all set to realistic things and stuff like that. Prestige and blah, blah, blah. Personally, I don't like the game. I don't even like to talk about the game much. Not only because I suck at it. <laughs> because I know I'll never get good. There is a few times where I'm partnered up with a good guy and I start raping like hell. But it's not my cup of tea. Halo, hands down, is the greatest game in the Halo world. Obviously. I said Halo World. Gaming World is what I meant. Uh, not much of a rant, really. I'm just comparing games. Uh, yeah, so how about that Grand Theft Auto 4?
sucks. All right, that's all I gotta say on this. Well, just remember, folks, stay sexy.